Let's start with the Bucks here. R Dub, the tight end position. We think Gronk will resign when camp gets underway, but if not, in the meantime, what do we think about the person that steps up? How do they fill that void? Yeah, so Gronk is the issue, and we know Gronk was in, in Vegas having a, a Gronk draft weekend uh, a few weeks ago, and he's shagging fly balls with the Yankees across the street from the workout facility in Tampa Bay. So he's not exactly focused on football, but he did say if he plays uh, in the NFL next year, it will indeed be for Tampa Bay. That makes sense. He and Tom Brady have that relationship. Uh, the other question is how much he's going to make. Uh, he made $9 million and change last year. I would imagine it'll be something similar to that. The Buccaneers have $12 million or so left in salary cap space, and he'll be integral to what they want to do offensively should he come back. It feels like they're leaning that way. Uh, in the meantime, O.J. Howard's gone. He's in Buffalo trying to restart a career as a former first-round pick. And, of course, they drafted Kate Otten, uh, who is a physically imposing um, tight end. Didn't get to do a lot of those things, showcase them uh, on a lot of occasions at Washington. That doesn't mean he isn't a good player. You see that sometimes with these college uh, tight ends coming into the league, but he's extremely physical. He's a really good blocker, shows good hands and the ability to get open, and he'll beat an offense, which won't be featuring the tight end, should K. Dotton be that guy, because they have the playmakers on the outside and Mike Evans uh, and, and Chris Godwin, and of course they have Tom Brady back there sling the old ball around. Yeah, speaking of Tom Brady, let's keep it in Tampa, right? Is it going to be his last last ride? Made an appearance during Tampa's offseason workouts. A little unusual for him, of course, being a veteran in the league for so many years. Todd Bowles now in charge. Ardub, what do we think about TB12? Yeah, so is it Tom Brady's last ride? I think perhaps we should put that question to Giselle because it feels like Tom Brady retired, and a few weeks later she's like, man, you got to get out of the house. You're driving me crazy. Uh, that's just me speculating based on being married 20 years. I can imagine how that conversation goes. But also part of the issue appears to be reportedly that there was some friction between Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. Tom Brady reportedly won that power struggle because, as you know, Tommy, uh, Todd Bowles is now the head coach there. But, again, it feels like Tom Brady is – dipping his toes into other non-football waters. Uh, he, we see him in commercials. We see him doing the crypto commercials, uh, the, the interest in buying a sports team. So I, I do wonder uh, if he's thinking beyond just this season, thinking beyond football. He'll be in the booth uh, the moment he retires, calling football games. So maybe this is it. The issue for Tampa Bay, of course, is that they have Blaine Gabbert. They have Kyle Trask, who they drafted last year in the second round. Neither of those players are long-term answers, but if you can come out and make a deep – uh, playoff run, win another Super Bowl with Tom Brady. I don't think you care about the quarterback stuff. You can sort that stuff out later after Tom Brady retires. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.